watched me before and welcome uh, if you are new. Thank you for finding my channel and I hope you enjoy the video. Um, so I am back with my September wrap up. Fingers crossed we can continue with these monthly wrap ups. Um, I know we're only on month one that we said we were going to do these but fingers crossed it seems to have worked so far. Um, so yeah, September's been a really, really long month uh, for me. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, the 1st of September seems like ages away. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we get on. Um, I think I managed to get quite a bit of stitching done this month. Um, I've got a few finishes to show you, fully finished as well, which is very impressive for me. Um, quite a few new starts, um, I think, at the end of my last video I was saying there was about a million new Christmas stitch alongs coming out so um, yeah lots of new starts so yeah we'll uh, get straight into it um I feel like I'm gonna be a little bit quicker if I can today um firstly the lighting I apologize if it's a bit crazy we are on a very very British weather day um we're going from beaming sunshine one minute to sideways rain the next um so yeah we're a bit all over the place today um, and also my partner's taken the children out so i can film um i'm hoping they've gone somewhere indoors but just in case i feel like i need to be quick uh just in case they're stuck out in the rain somewhere um so yeah uh let's start with fully finishes so the first thing I'm going to show you, I haven't got to show you actually. Um, so if you remember in my last video, I'd just done a little tiny um, unicorn thing, cross stitch. Um, and it was a little kit from Mouse Loft. Um, so I actually did two more of these. I did a little cat and a fox. And I have since finished those as some little coasters. Um, I'll pop a picture in of what they look like. Um, I did share these on my Instagram, so if you follow me there, um, you will have seen them already. Um, but yeah, these have already been gifted to three of my lovely friends. Um, so I can't show you them, but they are in use. I've been to my friends this morning um, and and we, we used the coasters, so I'm really pleased with those. Um, but yeah, these were just three little cheapy, tiny kits that I had lying around. Um, so yeah, I did them and then I just got the coasters from Amazon. They were, I think they were just called um, like clear plastic craft coasters or something. Um, but yeah, they were dead good. And these little mouse, lift, my mouse loft um, kits just fit in them absolutely perfectly. So yes, um, that is fully finished object. Well, there's three of them, I suppose. Three fully finished objects. Excellent. The next one is a little bit more exciting. So, um, in my last video, I said that I was um, really looking forward to finishing my first Hade, my first Heaven and Earth design, um, and I was aiming for a finish on Quick Stitch Tranquil Tulip, which is by Hannah Disney, or Hannah Lynn, I'm still not entirely sure. But yes, um, last time when you, uh, when you saw it, I'll pop a picture in of where I was, um, I was at 74.46% done. So I still had like a quarter of it to go. However, I'd worked out, by the way, when I watched it back, I was like, my maths was, the numbers I gave you were totally wrong, even though my maths that I'd already worked out were correct. Either way, I knew that I could finish it in like three weeks if I just sat down and did it and just didn't really stitch on all else. So I did it and I'm really pleased with it. Um, and it's already in a frame, which is very impressive. So um, this I started, I checked as well, because um, I wasn't sure if I'd started at the end of last year or the beginning of this year. So I started this on the 2nd of January this year and it's finished. I bet there's gonna be awful reflection on this, but there you go, it's done, my first haze. <laughs> and I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with it. I love it, it's so colorful, I just love it. I'm sorry, there's going to be awful reflection. But there you go. My first haid is finished. So, um, yep, this is on 20 count white Ada. I stitched this two over one. Um, and it does look all right. However, I'm not sure if going forward I would do 
one over one on 20 count because it is a little bit bulky in some places um but yeah I'm really pleased with it I'm so happy to have finished it um this frame I just picked up um from the range which is just a bit of a everything shop over here in the UK um so yeah my mum's put it in a frame for me I love it I don't know what else to say I just want to look at it all day every day um but yeah i aimed to do like two uh 300 stitches a day was like my aim and most days i was like doing a lot more than that so i managed to get it quicker than i thought i would as well so yay fully finished haid um so yeah i'm really looking forward to continuing haid stitching although how much more haid stitching i'll get done this year i am not so sure yet but there you go my first one is done I'm quite proud of it, can you tell? Um, right, my next finish was um, a snail house. So Joe from Belushi Stitches and I um, started doing the Owl Forest snail houses. Um, we're doing them as a stitch long, stitching them on Saturdays, um, hashtag snail house Saturday. Um, there's a few people joined in and started these with us. Um, you don't have to do them all, you don't have to do any particular order, um, yeah, but we're enjoying stitching on our snails. And I finished the first one, so the one I just decided to do first was the strawberries one. So there is three out so far, there's strawberries, forget me not, I forgot the name of the forget me not last time, that was really embarrassing. <laughs> oops um, and the third one is lily of the valley so the first one that i decided to do was the strawberries um i'll pop a picture in of where i was last time so i think i'd done um most of the i've done the house most of the actual snail's body and some of like the vines around the top so we were getting there but i have now finished it and this is fully finished also so there we go i love this one so much um so this frame is actually perfect for this one. Um, this again is just from the range. Um, yeah, I really like it, I love it. So yes, Owl Forest Snail House Strawberries. Um, so this is stitched on 32 count Belfast linen, um, which is uh, provided in the kit and also with the Owl Forest threads which are provided. So they're all var variegated threads not sure how well you can see but yeah I love how this one turned out yeah another fully finished object I can't wait to get these all up on my wall um yeah I just think that's perfect little finish that one I'm chuffed with it um and then that's it for the fully finished objects but I still have another finish I was on a roll in September I think getting um some projects crossed off the whip list so um the third uh no i've lost count anyway the next finish i've got is um hello sunshine which is by caterpillar cross stitch so this is a five part or was a five part mystery stitch along um last time you saw it i had completed part four i think i'll pop a picture in of what that did look like um, and then part five came out on the 28th of september um and then i think I pretty much got straight on it that night and boxed that off within the next three days, I think. So here we are. So here is the completed tree. So as you will have hopefully seen last time I had all this done and it was just this bit here that needed to be done. Um, and it is now done with this cute little bee. I must say when the pattern was released I really wasn't that sure on the bee um, but as soon as I've stitched it up I'm really pleased with it I think it looks great I think it's a lovely little addition to the tree so yes there we go it's a very I feel like it's a very wingy tree this one all insects and birds but I really really like it I love the colors on it um, and then this is the third out of four trees complete um, so I've done hello dear which is the winter tree done hello pumpkin which is the autumn tree and now we've got hello sunshine which is the summer tree so i only have one tree left to do which is hello petal um i already have the pattern and everything ready to go for that one i just need to stitch it so i think 
watch this space, but I think me and Joe are gonna stitch that early next year, I think, if I am correct with our plans. So yes, watch this space for that one, but hopefully by early next year, I'll have a complete set of all four trees. So this is stitched on 16 count white Ada, um, same as I've stitched the other ones. Um, yeah, and then once I've got all four finished, I can then decide how I wanna finish them exactly. So yeah, that is all my finishes, which I'm pretty pleased with, to be honest, in one month. I never have that many. So yeah, I'm really chuffed with all that lot. Um, right, moving on. I think I actually only have one whip to show you, I think. And even this hasn't got a ton of work on it. So, um, where are we? My brain's not really working today. I feel like I'm like, so unprepared to film videos these days like i at the start i was really good at like writing stuff down like throughout um like in between videos so i knew exactly what i needed to talk about i knew what i'd worked on and um, i knew who i'd watched um and that's kind of gone out the window a little bit like this morning my partner was like i'll take the kids out so you can film today and my brain just kind of went i don't know what to talk about so sorry about that bear with me um anyway yes my whip I've got. So I uh, started a stitch along with Jo from Blue She Stitches again. Um, we started this one back in June, I think. So this is Deck the Halls by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Um, I'll pop a picture in of what it will look like when it's finished. Um, so this is a stitch along that Sally originally did um, a few years ago now. She did it as a six part mystery stitch along. Me and Joe totally missed it at the time. So um, we are redoing this now. We're stitching one part a month from June to November. June, July, August, September, October. Yeah, that's right. We did start in June. Um, yeah, so we're doing one part a month. Um, and last month when I showed you this, I was halfway through part four, I think, which was the uh, mistletoe kiss section. Um, and all I've done is finished it, to be honest, finished the mistletoe kiss section. So there we are. That's where we're up to with that one. Um, this is stitched on 16 count Ada. It's like a pale gray color. Yeah. So as we have now entered October, we have released the fifth part of this one, um, which is across the bottom here. And I think it's wrap presents or wrapping presents or something. So that goes under here. Um, and I need to get that done soon. Uh, actually, I think that the next, this section is probably the biggest out of the lot. Um, so yeah, I could do with getting that started soon. But yeah, really pleased with this one. This is one of many Christmas projects that are on the go at the minute. So yeah. I love it. I love all Sally's pieces. Um, I feel like eventually I'll have stitched the whole back catalogue of um, Caterpillar Cross Stitch. But yes, really enjoying that one. Um, lovely seeing everyone's progress on them. Um, I think I feel like this is why it feels like such a long month because it feels like ages ago since everyone was sending their like finished um, part four sections. We have like an Instagram group chat. Um, and everyone was sending them across and it feels like ages ago that I saw them all. Um, so yeah, hopefully in the next um, few days, we'll start seeing some presents being wrapped and um, everyone sharing their part five finishes. So um, obviously after part five, we've only got one more part left, which will be released at the beginning of November. And then that'll be another one done, which I'm really pleased with. So I think next we're moving on to new starts and I do have a lot uh, for this month actually. Um, so I think I already said, but at the end of my last video, I was talking about a lot of Christmas stitch alongs that were starting. Um, and you know me, I love a stitch along. Um, so does Jo. So I'm pretty sure she's doing a good chunk of these with me as well. Um, so yeah, we'll get started with my new starts. So, um, I don't know what order I started these in. I'm just going to pick them up randomly. So 
the first one I'm going to show you is by Little Dove Designs. Um, this is called Christmas Magic and this is a six part stitch along, I think. So she released the border originally. Um, was that when you first bought it? I think that the border you got like as soon as you bought the actual pattern. So, uh, or maybe a little bit later, either way. She released the border and then the first section came out on Friday, I want to say. I'm pretty sure it was Friday. Um, and I'm nearly up to date, surprisingly. So this is where we're up to with this one. So um, the border, as you can see, I got the actual squares done. But then there's also like three more rows of different colours that go all the way around the whole thing, which I've not done yet. But I figured as long as I had the boxes in, I could stitch the parts as they come out and I can always go back to the boxes, um, to the full border um, whenever I get a chance really. So as I said, the first part came out, which is up here and it's actually nearly done. All I've got left to do is this section here has um, white stitched around the bird and in his little eye, which isn't done yet. But yeah, I love this. I absolutely love this fabric. It's one of my favorite fabrics that I've used, I think. Um, definitely going to use this fabric for some more projects going forward. So this is a 32 count uh, linen, I think, or is it an even weave? Either way, it's 32 count and it's spotty and I love it. Um, so yeah, that is my little dove designs, Christmas magic. So I'll be really pleased to actually get that finished, maybe even as soon as I finish this video, to be honest, um, get that one boxed off. So that's that done um, for another two weeks. I think the next part's out. Um, yeah, I think that's two weekly on Fridays. So yes, love that one. I'm really excited to see what else comes up. And I really like that that's got really small manageable parts. Um, when I show you my next one, you'll see what I mean. Um, the difference in some stitch alongs of how big the parts are is quite, yeah, vast, shall we say. Um, so let's do my next Christmas stitch along, which is the Lucky Nutcracker by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Oh gosh, all needle minders are sticking together. So um, Caterpillar Cross Stitch, again, love Caterpillar Cross Stitch. They have done a mystery Christmas stitch along, which is called the Lucky Nutcracker. And part one was released, I think mid-September. Um, and it was this huge tree. I've never stitched a bigger Christmas tree. <laughs> it's so big and I've not actually quite finished it yet. So that's where we're up to so far. Since this um, came out, part two has also been released. I think that came out on Friday as well which is the actual nutcracker itself, which I think goes here. And it's another really hefty part. Um, if I can, I'll pop a picture in of what has been released so far. Um, but yeah, these are really, really big parts to do every two weeks. Although maybe they're designed for you to only do this and not a million other stitch alongs at the same time, perhaps. Hmm. Um, but yes, this is my tree so far. So all I've got left to do is fill in um, this last section here. For me, the easiest way to tackle this was to do all the lights and the little um, decorations and the star, do the outline of the tree and then just go back and fill it all in later. So hopefully, fingers crossed by the end of today, I'll have the little dove section finished and at least this tree finished, if not the um, nutcracker started as well. Fingers crossed, we'll see how we go. Um, but yes, that is, is that a six part? I think that's another six part one released every two weeks. Um, but that's obviously got a two week um, lead on the Little Dove one. So yes, we'll see how we go with that one. There's no way I'm gonna keep up with all these stitch alongs, but we can try um, and stitch Christmas all into next year as well. Um, I do have two more three more, oops, three more Christmas stitch alongs to start. Um, one of them is released, which is the tiny modernist stockings were hung, Sal. 
That has now just released its second part, so it's actually halfway through, but I've not managed to start this one yet. Um, I have everything ready to go. I have the fabric, I have the floss. I just need to get started. So yes, fingers crossed we'll do that soon. Um, yeah, the other two is the Historical Sampler Company Stitch Along, which I think is called Winter Wonderland, which you've only got a little snippet of so far. And then Satsuma Street decided to release a stitch along as well, which I've never stitched anything by Satsuma Street, but I love their patterns, they're so colourful. So I just thought, why not, let's do it. So um, yeah, that one's not out yet either. I want to say that gets released on Friday and we've not got much of that to go off at all, just a little sneak peek, which I'll try and pop in for you as well. Um, so yeah, Christmas. Right, my next start is something that I wasn't gonna start but I've seen so many people stitching it and I was like, I'm not a Halloween stitcher. I'm not a big Halloween fan. I don't really do anything at Halloween. It's just kind of a day really. Um, but I got sucked in to the hype because the pattern looks really, really cool. Um, and I showed it to my partner and he thought it was pretty cool as well. So I've not got very far, but I joined the cryptids bandwagon. <laughs> so, um, You'll all have seen the Cryptids pattern by The Witchy Stitcher. Um, this is released, I think it's weekly on Fridays, but with a few breaks here and there. Um, so the fourth Cryptid has just been released um, as well as the border. So all I've got done so far is this tiny bit at the top. Um, but I really need to get going on this. I really, really enjoyed stitching on this actually. Um, this I raided my stash for um and found i think this is 20 count it's either 18 or 20 i think it's 20 um and this is vintage mocha by it's Weigart. um some people are using some really really cool fabrics for this um and i was gonna buy something and i just wasn't sure and i was umming and ahhing over a few things i had in stash in the end i just decided to go for this but i think it'll look pretty cool there's a couple of colors um that look like they might be quite close to the fabric, but we'll see how we go when we get to them, whether I just do some extra back stitching or, to be honest, I think a lot of the actual cryptids themselves are back stitched, so we might be all right. We'll see how we go. But yes, this is the cryptids um, stitch along. Not got very far. I'm actually doing this one over one so far, um, especially after doing the tulip two over one. And I just thought one over one might kind of add to the sort of creepy-ish vibes of this one. So that's what we're going for. Really want to get back to that. I was about to say I might pick that one up after this video as well, but I'm giving myself a lot to do today here. <laughs> um, so yes, that's the um, Cryptids Stitch Along. That actually goes on for quite a while as well. I think, I want to say there's 12 Cryptids and I'm pretty sure that goes into next year actually. So um yeah, I could really do with getting a move on on that, so I'm not ridiculously far behind. So yes, cryptids. And the final new star I have takes us back to our snail houses. So obviously, because I finished the strawberry snail house, I had to move on to a new one to work on on Saturdays. So I think we, me and Jo both took one Saturday off snails. And then a couple of Saturdays ago, we started our new one so the one i've gone for um starting this time is the snail house forget me not i'll pop a picture in of what that will look like when it's done um so they're all a similar kind of vibe but i really like them i think they're so cool and this is where i'm up to on this so this is two weeks two saturdays of stitching so far and i've already done i know i've already gone wrong twice one of them I've fixed and I don't think it's too noticeable. Um, the other, I'm not so sure yet because it's on this bit here, um, which attaches to like the snail's body. So I need to see if I can fudge it. Hopefully it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I've learned that, um, I'm pretty sure everyone in the world knows what Strictly Come Dancing is, but anyway, Strictly is on on Saturday nights it's snail day on Saturday nights. Um, however, watching dancing and stitching, yeah, I lose concentration on one or the other. So unfortunately it was my stitching that um, got messed up, but never mind. I think it'll be fine. Um, so yeah, that's where we're up to with this one. 
I'm actually finding this one harder to stitch than the snail one, than the um, strawberry one. Let me just root that one back out again. Because if you can see on this one, we started with the house, but it had like lots of breaks in colour, like with the door frame and the window frames and this little balcony type thing and then the roof. Whereas this one is kind of, even though it's got lots of little roofs and this windowy thing and whatever, it's a lot of yellow stitching. So it's kind of a lot harder to work out exactly where you're up to and where you're going next. But still, I'm really enjoying it. Already can't wait till next Saturday to get going again on that one. Um, yeah, roll on Snail Health Saturdays. And feel free to still join us on these if you have them or you want to get them. As I say, there's no time pressures or, time, or like order that you need to do them in or whatever. Just grab them and stitch them with us on Saturdays. I think that's all my stitching. I feel like I'm talking really fast and flying through this. Whew, let's take a minute. Um, so I think we'll move into haul and I'm pretty sure this isn't all of it, but it was just what I found quick quickly when I went to grab things from upstairs. So Let's start with Chromatic Alchemy. So I mentioned last month that I am in the Chromatic Alchemy Fabric of the Month Club. Um, I have received, this is my second piece of fabric that I've received from them so far. And I love it. Um, yeah, their fabrics are beautiful from what I've seen so far. So August's fabric was called Buttermilk. And it is this quite neutral shade it's sort of like yellows and whites I don't think that's coming up very well that's not too bad so yeah buttermilk it's beautiful really neutral so there's all sorts you could stitch on this so I get the 18 count do I get yeah 18 count Ada um in 18 by 26 inches so it's quite a hefty piece and I love it I'm really looking forward to stitching on these um, and she's actually just emailed out what the fabric of the month is for what month did I say that was that was September she's just released what the fabric of the month is for October and it's so cool it's like purple and orange um which when I read it I was like oh but when I saw the picture of it, it looks really, really cool. So I'm really looking forward to receiving that one, which hopefully I'll be able to show you in my next month's video. Right, then I went back to Owl Forest. They released too many things that I need to stitch immediately. And I think because I'm enjoying the snails so much, I just want to start everything by them. So I got a few new kits first one I got is the underwater garden which looks like this so they have a whole garden series of different animals um but I really liked this underwater one there's um little fish little seahorses I think it's really cute really love the colors in that one as well and um, so that's that one then I got the bewitched swamp which is in the same series as is it called the enchanted forest I think and I think they'll look really cool as companion pieces so there's that one and that's got all sorts going on all sorts of little creatures and greenery and yeah I'm really excited to stitch that one as well and then the final kit I got as soon as I saw that but this is basically the reason why I made this order as soon as I saw this I think it went out of stock pretty quickly um and there's a good few floss tubers already started this or have this in their stash that I've seen um but it's the golden bees kit and I absolutely love it I think it's beautiful maybe my favorite owl forest piece yeah I'm really really looking forward to it so there we go there's golden bees can't wait to start that one um and then I ordered a couple of thread packs for some patterns that I already had the uh, 
patterns for my brain's going sorry so i went for the um what's it called acorn sampler or something like that i'll pop a picture in here of what it should look like when it's done um so there's two colorways that you could get this in there's either plain green or you could like pick out the acorns with the um like orangey color so that's what i went for and there is the thread pack for that one loads and loads of floss in there really looking forward to stitching that um and i don't know if you can see i'll just show you how these come in case you've not seen them before so you get all the um little twizzies of floss and then they all come with these like bobbins um and they usually have the symbol written on the bobbin um they're doing the owl in the snail kits anyway so they have the symbol to match the kit so you know exactly the um pattern so you know exactly what one you need to stitch with um and these bobbins are really really good quality they're really thick um yeah and actually because when you order owl forest threads they um they come in different size packs so you can sort of choose whether you're going to stitch it on 32 count 28 count 36 count 40 count i think and you can also specify there's like different sizes so whether you want to stitch one over two or one over one or two over two or whatever um so i feel like i've always been kind of cautious to make sure i'm getting the right size um thread pack for the fabric that i'm going to use um, but actually, after stitching the first snail house, I had tons and tons of thread left over. So I think they're pretty generous in the um, thread size, the, the thread pack sizes. So once I have done one of the um, patterns with the thread packs rather than the kits, I will report back just to double check. But I reckon you could probably get away with like a size down of thread pack than you need although maybe don't risk it just in case you end up needing to frog some anyway i'm just rambling now um the other two i got the other two thread packs i got was this one which is for their free pattern um i think it's called starlings and i love these colors in particular this really deep um blue color i think it's beautiful and then the colors in this next one are again gorgeous this is for I think it's called ringing dragonflies and these are the colors in that one absolutely stunning colors i love this um pink and this purple in particular alongside this green i think it looks lovely um, and that is actually in the same um series as misty butterflies i think it's called um so yeah i really can't wait to stitch all of those i need more hours in the day i need more time to stitch everything but we'll get there eventually um the last thing that i hauled this month is not the last thing i hauled but it's the last thing that i grabbed anyway from upstairs um i made an order with patchwork rabbit for some of the needlework expo releases um there was tons of beautiful expo releases this month loads of really nice patterns um I feel like I'm kind of new to the whole expo thing. I wasn't really sure how it worked. Um, I just kind of like kept an eye on Patchwork Rabbit and ordered stuff that was there. I don't know whether I could have requested other things or not. I'm not sure. Either way, anyway, this is what I got for the meantime. So I got the Tiny Modernist Moths and the Moon pattern, which I just think is so nice. I love this one um so yeah really looking forward to stitching on that one love the colors on it i just think it's i don't know there's just something about it really that stood out to me i really like it so that's that one and then the other one i got was a hello from liz matthews pattern and it is token of fall which i love i think it's really cute i'm not actually that big either i don't think so yeah really looking forward to stitching that one as well is that it i think I've done ish I don't know I feel like I've re I'm really my brain's not quite functioning I'm really tired as well today so I apologize if my eyes are like little pinpricks um my child we finally nearly cracked the sleeping I thought um and then last night he wasn't 
playing ball at all so a little bit sleepier today um but anyway plans going forward i'm definitely going to try and keep up with this monthly wrap up business um so hopefully i'll be back either end of october or beginning of november by which time my little boy will be one <laughs> um yes so another month's time hopefully i will just have a lot of stitch along progress to show you um i'm going to try and keep up with as much as i can obviously i'm already falling way behind on a million stitch alongs because who else starts this many stitch alongs in one go silly me but i couldn't resist they're all so lovely um so yes we'll be continuing with the nutcr lucky nutcracker with the little dove christmas magic and with the cryptids stitch along i really want to get i'm never going to get caught up on cryptids but i would really love to get at least a couple of the cryptids done over the next month um, and then obviously we need to get started on the Tiny Modernist Stockings Were Hung, the Historical Sampler Company Stitch Along and the Satsuma Street one as well. Um, I've had to make myself in my phone like a list, like a, a diary calendar thing of like when everything's coming out because my brain was getting that muddled with what was coming out when. I thought I'm going to end up losing patterns in my inbox, not knowing what I'm doing. So yeah, I've had to make like a little list of exactly what's coming out when. Friday just gone, I think I had six or seven different parts come out because obviously I've still also got the Modern Folk Embroidery um, stitch along, which is a yearly one. So that's still coming out um, on top of all these other bits and pieces. Yeah, my brain was a mush, shall we say. Um, so yes, that's my plan. And then obviously we'll see how far we get with our snail house Saturdays over the next few weeks. Um, I'd love to get another snail finish by the end of the year, which I think is pretty doable. Um, maybe even get both of them done, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching today. Um, sorry if I've talked at you at a million miles an hour. I feel like I'm out of breath. I've spoken that quickly. Um, but yes, uh, Thank you for watching let's admire my page one more time because i love it so ah. uh, thank you for watching hope to see you again in another month's time please leave your comments down below um really enjoying reading your comments answering your comments um if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments or message me on instagram um yeah i don't really get that many questions i don't think so if you have any please let me know and I'll be um, glad, happy to answer them for you. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you soon in another month. Bye.